I got him. Yeah. I got one. Grab me. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got him. We got him. You got him. You got him. <laughs> that might be the biggest one. Oh, he's coming back to you. What is going on, everybody? I hope y'all are as excited about your day, wherever you are, as I am. Uh, I have driven to the Arkansas River and met up with Gary from Fishing Commission. We'll put his link down in the description to bow fish for some paddle fish. He's got this spot where he says he could catch them by hand. So I brought a bow and we're fixing to uh, Fix try to run some arrows and a few fish, big fish. How big did they get? Uh, I caught them last year up to 70 pounds. I don't know if we're getting that big today, but they're there. I hope we catch 70 pound fish today. It has been brought to my attention that uh, all I've shot for y'all is gar and buffalo. So we're gonna try real hard to change that up today. My voice is a little squeaky because my allergies have been messing up on me, but y'all just have to tolerate that. So we're gonna quit talking. We're gonna get down here in the river and see if we can find them paddle fish. Oh, that's deep mud. <laughs> we got to get out here to where we can see in that, that channel. I am crazy excited about this. <laughs> Ain't nothing about bow fishing clean. All right, we got out here with them. He almost caught one with his hand. Close, and I'm standing up, close. standing up there waiting to shoot one. So we'll see if we can get out here and get on one. Oh get him. dang, no I didn't get him. Right here. That is deep water. We gotta aim way on it. Oh, he just hit me. He just hit me hard. He Golly. Oh, he's heading towards that hole. All right, well. That hurt. He hit his bill right into my shin. <laughs> We're stirring the water up though, aren't we? It's not, no, not really. Because it's flowing and just There's one, there's one. <laughs> I got him! Yeah? I got one! Right at me! Go! Whoa, 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 whoa! We got him! <laughs> it's not a monster, but we shot a paddle fish with a bow! Look at Gary getting us on one! Oh, he's got him! We pulled it off! I there appreciate you, go, you Gary. No problem. Look at that! With the Vlad. No, this ain't the Vlad. This is, uh... Oh, I'm so excited, I can't even think. We got one, we got one shot with the adder. My mind was not working. Let's uh let's go back up there and get Connor. He's got a paddle fish permit too. And see if we could maybe get a bigger one. I appreciate it, Gary. Yeah, no problem, man. Appreciate you coming down. We got it all rigged up. Connor's fixing to go try to shoot one. And then Gary said he's gonna try to shoot one too. They're everywhere. We're gonna try to get a big one for y'all. What do you think of that, Cap? You hold on to that fish. We're gonna go try to shoot another one. That's the only one I could shoot. It's a one limit. All right, we're gonna get back out there and get after another one. About a foot, About a foot under. All right. All right, so Connor has shot three times and missed. Now Gary's fixing to take a stab at I've never oh, shot a crossbow in my life, so this could be interesting. Can't be that much different than a rifle. No, it's shaped like a rifle. Yeah. Feels like a rifle. He's gonna get, he's gonna get it hooked. Be the next gen bow fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> Never taken a bow fishing shot in my life. If you hit one on your first shot, it's gonna be something. Right there. Okay. Trying to hurt him up in the shallower water. We got one. Man, you said bolt bounce off a rock. Yeah. All right, in front of me. All right. Oh, right there. there it is. You got him. You got him. <laughs> Lock the reel. 
Really, man? <laughs> yeah, just he got one. Whoa! Whoa! Dude. Yeah. Whoa! Boy, right at your head. <laughs> about took your head off. I'm tangled up in the line. Let me get out here and see if I can grab him for him. Oh, man. Oh, it's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Gary got one. Oh. Yes. yes. Look at that. Oh. What was that about? Four shots? Yeah, you want to grab the bow there? Oh, I got to grab the bow. Oh. Look at that. Oh. oh that's going to be some good eating, too. Was that weigh about 12 pounds? Oh, no, he's bigger than that. This one's a solid 18 plus, I'd say. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, there's bigger ones though. All, All right. right, thanks, Josh. <laughs> yeah, thank I appreciate you. Appreciate it. Let's go get Connor one. Now we got we got one more person. All right, let's that's do got it. a paddlefish tag. Right. Look, he got him right in the head. Right in the head, right there. Fish wasn't going nowhere. All right, we got to get this one tagged up on the bank, and then uh, we're gonna get Connor going. Yeah. All right, we're all ready to go with Connor. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all. You can see I'm wearing a hoodie. It's like 60 degrees out here, and this water is cold. And I'm not getting used to it. Oh, it's cold though. I'm getting used to it, but it's still cold. I like swimming in the cold. Strong. There was no wind when I got here. All right, we're gonna find Connor one. I did get him. You got him. You got him. Real man. Sure, hold this <laughs> no. Real, real, real. He pulling some drag. That might be the biggest one. Oh, he's coming back to you. Here, Gary might be able to grab him. Okay. Maybe. Maybe not. There you go, man. There he is. Well, that's a decent one. That's a decent one. I think that's the biggest one so far. 20 pounder. Yeah. Hard. <laughs> yeah, I got it. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah. Hold the fish up so I can see it. That's a nice one. <laughs> that tags us out. We about to have to get up here on the bank and get dried off. I am freezing. Look at this. We got it done. All three of us with the with the adder crossbow. What do you think about it? Oh, it's awesome. The first time shooting any crossbow, but that one I think spoiled me for anything else. <laughs> it's pretty cool stuff. Paddle fish. Tagged out. Three man limit. We're gonna get them. We're gonna get them checked in. You gotta check these things in online, like stinking deer. So we're gonna get them checked in. Get them in. On, uh, get them on ice. And that's all I guess I got for today. We'll uh, we'll catch y'all next time. What is going on, everybody? Ooh, gotta watch for snakes. I am back down here at the creek, and I have been chomping at the bit to do some bow fishing with this reverse limb mini striker, with them new metal fishing arrows. And my cousin Parker and his buddy Levi are supposed to meet me down here here in just a little while. They want to try it out too. I think they want to do some pole fishing as well. We've got a lot of rain and the lake is pushing back up into these creeks and it's causing the water to be muddy. There's almost no visibility. So it's going to be one of those anything goes creek days. But until they get here, I'm going to ease up the creek and see if uh, I could find some clear water, maybe some fish to shoot at. Uh, we'll meet up with them here in a bit. Real quick before I ease down the creek, I can see a buffalo over there, just the top of his fin sticking out of the water. He is a long way. But I'm gonna see if I can get them boys some cut bait before I go. It is a long ways. I'm talking like 15 yards. I bow shot that far, but I shot over it. There's another one. I got that one all the way across the creek that'll that'll be some good bait tighten my drag up here oh that's perfect size for some bait i'm just gonna hand line it in before i lose it oh yeah there we go. Now them boys can do some rod and reel fishing and got some cut bait. Now I just got to get a hold of them, figure out where they're at. My goodness, it took some doing, but we got all met up. Got back here, found a spot where the water's 
clear enough we're seeing some fish they're over there getting rigged up to do some pole fishing let me show you all this slingshot fishing arrow i'm talking about it's not a slingshot fishing arrow no more william tail done got one that fits their bows their striker bows i just got it rigged up here with a leader i just put it straight through the hole and tied a single loop knot and then it just fits right up against the string there so we're just gonna ease around see if we can find some fish to shoot they're gonna try to catch some catfish and try to make a day out of it Ooh, all right from up on top of that ledge levi spotted one back here in the creek parker grabbed up that bow he's fixing to try to take his first ever bow fishing shot he'll take a side shot on him right there right there get it. aim under <laughs> he shot over him. story of my life hey parker here's another one going up the creek right here I think I should try to get close. You can do whatever you he, want. He ain't gonna be able to, if he keeps going that way, he's gonna be stuck. Remember to aim under and just look at shoot him. Safety! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Did you hit him? I think. Yes. <laughs> oh, get him in before the line breaks. <laughs> yes, sir. Woo! That's a nice spotted gar. What do you think about that crossbow? Oh yeah. Get lowered. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, was, that was his second shot ever with one of these little crossbows. Oh Just yeah. Second shot bow fishing period, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> second shot bow fishing ever. <laughs> we gonna get him off air and get this cock so we can shoot another one. Oh, Levi hollered. He's done got one spotted back over where we was at and I'm trying to get the boat to him but I've got myself in the deepest mud ever. All right, we made it. <laughs> Pull him, don't let him out. Oh, I fell. Don't let him in the trees. I got him, I got him. Hold me, hold me, hold me. I got it. Was that your first bow fishing shot? Yeah. <laughs> My goodness, I told you Levi was smart. Might have to get down in there, No, he's got him. He's got him. <laughs> Just rip him up out of there. I don't want to break the line. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's two. Well, we made a day out of it. And I got a big old pot of gumbo on at the house. Them boys both shot a couple of guard. We're going to take home fry up with it. So we're gonna start the march out of here. It is a long one. <laughs> Old Levi drawing the short straw, having to drag in fish out. If y'all wondering, are they really that good, worth all that trouble? The answer is yes, 100%. But I'll leave y'all a link if you're looking for the bow and uh, another link for the arrows. That's all I got for today. As always, I appreciate y'all watching and we'll catch you next time. What is going on, everybody? Today we're gonna be doing a little bow fishing with the mini striker bow fishing kit from William Tell Archery. I'm gonna go do some bow fishing, buddy. You gonna swim? Okay. I have this sucker upgraded with the stock, which makes it probably about the most tactical bow you could fish with. I mean, it's it's ridiculous as far as accuracy is concerned. I'm going to show you. It's not even fair for the fish. They don't know to swim away. They think you're carrying a gun. <laughs> They're like, oh, hey, we just keep on swimming. He's got a gun. He's after hogs or something. No, I'm kidding. That's my best stab at being sarcastic. But it's gotten too hot to walk long ways. And the brush has just gotten too thick to wade through. So I'm just going to, while they're swimming, I'm going to ease around this neck. And just see if I can find any fish up in the shallows. It won't take long. There we go. There's our first contestant right there. He don't even know to swim off. He's thinking, that guy's got a machine gun. He ain't fishing. Joke's on him. Let him turn broadside. Oh, I got him. I got him. Oh, he didn't even know it was coming. Tighten my drag up, Smith. That was a long shot, too.
I like that new line guide I bought. Oh man, head shot. Ain't been here 10 minutes. Let me get y'all faced up. Ain't been here 10 minutes, already got one. All right, I'm gonna keep on easing around. We'll see if we can get a, a bucket load of them. I don't have to carry them out today. I heard something big flop back there. All I gotta do is put them in the boat. We'll haul them out like that. There's a whole bunch of them right here. There's one there, one there, one over there. Let's see if we can get one shot. Oh, I got him. That's going to scare them all off. That's two for two with this bow. I thought I missed him. That's a little smaller one. But we ain't done yet. We still got a quite a ways to go to get around this little neck let's see if we can make it three for three here we go here's number three right here let's see where if i can get an angle on it oh i got it oh he's in the trees we're gonna have to move oh he's wrapped up in the trees Can't get y'all stuck in the ground. There we go. Bolt stuck in the ground. There we go. Number three. And that's three in a row, too. That's not just three. And y'all, y'all kept up with the channel. Y'all know I'm not the best shot in the world. So we're gonna give the credit to the bow. Let me get this fish off here, get her loaded back up, and we'll see if we can stick another one. Alright, although this bow is a hundred times more accurate than a traditional bow fishing rig. It's a little slower on the reload. Let me show you in real time how long it takes to reload it. It's not that much difference, but it is a little bit. You gotta make sure your prongs are lined up. There we go. All right, and we're reloaded. That's how long it takes to, to reload it. It's not just a reel and stick and shoot, but it's not that much slower either, so sacrifice a little bit of speed on the reload for a lot more accuracy that's where it's at you just have to be a little bit careful with it because you don't want to get mud in in all these moving parts so a little bit more careful with it well i've pushed all the fish out of this little neck that i'm i'm hunting i'm digging this little line guy i think william tail's fixing to offer that in their bow fishing kits so y'all check them out i'll leave the link to this kit in the description i'm about to have to uh go get a stringer and gather these fish up that i got and i'm gonna strip down and do some swimming with the family it is hot we're talking like 105 degrees polar opposite from what it was on that colorado trip last week Whew, about froze to death up there now i'm about to stroke all right i got my fish gathered up and i really am fixing to have to find some place to cool off it is hot so y'all let me know what y'all think of this bow and i'm gonna get back to the boat and do some swimming before i fall out that is all i have for today i appreciate y'all watching and we'll catch you next time i got him yes sir what is going on everybody 
I'm doing some last minute bow fishing in a feeder creek, probably a mile upstream from the main body of water. I didn't think I was gonna get to do any bow fishing this week. I had some of them spring chores around the house that really needed to get done. But I popped a tire on my trailer and I don't got the money for a new one. So I guess those chores are gonna have to wait. I guess it was meant to be that we're gonna be down here bow fishing. Who knows? I got the uh, adder. It's paired up with one of them slingshot fishing arrows. Man, the more I shoot this bow, the more I like it, especially for bow fishing because it's got the recurve limbs and there's just not as many moving parts that can mess up. Bow fishing's one of those nitty gritty uh, things where your bow gets thrown around, everything gets muddy and slimy. And I just really like this bow for it. It shoots hard, probably a little harder than it needs to, but uh, it shoots straight and consistent so i'm just gonna ease down this feeder creek and check out some of these larger pools of water the sun's kind of hit and miss today so we'll see how it goes and see if we can find a fish to shoot well that's pretty cool i just walked up on an old dam check it out there's some deep holes around it i really hope there's some fish there because it would be super cool to do some bow fishing off that old dam let me see if I can get out there to it. It says something right here. It's like it says started WPA August 3rd, 1936. It was a long time ago. I guess they've long since given up on it. Oh, this would be a pretty cool spot to bow fish if the fish were up shallow, but I just don't see any right now. So we're going to have to move further down towards the lake. Man, I'm going to come back to this spot later in the summer. It's going to be money. So that's officially the coolest bow fishing spot ever. But I don't see no fish over there, but when I come up on this bank, I see a buffalo right down there on the edge. Or it looks like a buffalo. It's some sort of sucker fish. I'm going to see if I can work my way down there and get a shot at it. Got him! Yes, sir! Always rubbing on the rocks. I'm just gonna hand line him before I lose him. Yes! That is a nice buffalo. Right here with that, that old dam. Come back here later in the summer when the fish are up shallow. And I'm gonna stand down that dam and do some serious bow fishing. Well, we got one in the books. Let's keep easing down this creek and see if we can find another one. Whew. I have walked down this creek towards the lake for about another quarter mile, and I've been seeing the fish. I've even took a couple shots, but didn't hit either one of them. It's these banks. They're steep. Look at them. I don't know if you could tell from the camera, but these banks are about 10, 12 foot. It makes for some long bow fishing shots, and the sun has just went behind the clouds, and it is really hard for me to see in that water. But I think what we're going to do is just head towards the house and just chalk this up as a, a good scouting trip. This is going to be a really cool place to fish later on this summer. And when the sun comes out and the fish move up shallow, like a lot of fish move up shallow. So I'm just going to start easing back towards the truck. Hope I pick another one up on the way out. I'm going to pick that one up that I shot and I don't know, we'll just see what happens. Well, okay, I made it back down here to get my fish. I am fixing to load everything up into my backpack in the way of camera equipment. 
That way I could hike on out of here. It's a long hike. This is going to be a good spot later in the summer. No more one fish videos. We're going to come down here and shoot a dozen fish. We'll have to, we'll have to bring two people to carry them out. So that's all I got for today. I appreciate y'all watching more than you know. I mean it. Thanks a million. And uh, we'll catch you next time. What is going on, everybody? I am after a very specific fish today. The sucker has teeth like a piranha. The last time I was down here fooling around with that little Walmart bow, I missed one, a nice one. Then I fooled around and shot one, but the arrow pulled out on me. Look at all these geese. I bet there's a hundred of them there. I tried to get a permit from the wildlife department to come down here and hunt these geese. They frowned upon it. They're like, not happening, buddy. Anyways, back to what we was talking about. I want one of these fish because I've never eaten one before and I've eaten just about every fish Oklahoma has to offer, but not this one. Look at those suckers. I'm not saying they would be easy targets, but they'd be easy targets. Don't even know what I got in my hand. But anyways, oh, there one goes. Anyways, we are not fooling around today. I've got the mini striker with their little metal fishing arrows. And I'm not saying that I won't still miss one if I come across it, but the odds are definitely in my favor. This is a very accurate bow. So, I am going to get down here, quit fooling around. I know where these fish are at. I know what they look like. I know how to find them. I'm going to get down here and see if I can hunt one up. All right, y'all know where we're at. We've been down here before. Right there is where I missed one last time I was down here. I missed it twice. Sucker better not poke his head up today. It won't be healthy. Find himself in a deep fryer at my house. All right, we're all ready to go, but I think our best bet is down the creek in a little nick. There's some shallow water. They get back off in there and they they just lay down on the bottom in sun. So that's where we're gonna check first. If we can't find one there, we're gonna come back and see if, see if we can't catch one swimming across the top of the water. Easing down the creek, I'm seeing some buffalo. I ain't gonna mess with no buffalo today. I'm not gonna shoot any gar either. I mean, I see a 90 pound gar, I'm gonna let it slide. I almost tripped because the good Lord knew that was a lie. Y'all know if I see a big old gar, I'm going to shoot it. But we're letting the little ones go. We will not shoot a little gar. And the buffalo are 100% safe. Let's see if we can find what we're looking for. <laughs> I see one sitting there. It's got a spot in its back. I actually think that's the same one that I shot with that Walmart bow. I see it moving though, so we're going to have to sneak up here and take the shot. I don't want to get too close and scare it off. It's laying right there. I can't tell how deep it is, but we're going to try to get it from here. I got it. Yeah. Sucker ain't getting away today. No, he ain't getting away today. We brought the mini striker. Oh, it's buried up in the dirt. Yes. Oh, yeah, that fish ain't never seen nothing like the mini striker. Look, this is the fish that I shot. That I shot with the other bow. Look at that. That is a bow fin. I have never eaten one of these fish, and I've always wanted to. They're toothy. Let me see if I can get his mouth open without losing a finger. Let's see here side action there crazy anyways i gotta get up there and get this fish off and get reloaded in case i see another one my wife's wanting to try one too man i'm super excited about this Ooh, we are rigged up and ready to go the sweat is pouring it's about 967 degrees here in oklahoma look at that fish that thing is like prehistoric i call them bowfin i think people call them grinnels anyways we're gonna i'm gonna ease back down there 
put this fish back in the water and I'm gonna ease up that creek a little ways and see if just by chance there's not another one sitting there. I didn't see one while ago, but that don't mean that there's not one sitting there. Well, I've walked back down the creek and the only other fish that I see is a gar sitting right here. What do y'all say? Y'all wanna punch his ticket too? Just so we have two fish to take home. It's getting too hot to stand around. So we're gonna have to get the fish and get out. Now I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna hold true. I'm gonna go over here. And I'm gonna see if I can find that other bow fin. If, if the one I shot the other day was in the exact same spot, then chances are the one that I missed is in the exact same spot. Well, this is the spot. When we was over here the other day, it just it kept coming up and surfacing by that rock, eating stuff off the top of the water. I don't know if y'all know anything about Oklahoma Julys, but they are not to be messed with. Too hot for this. We'll give it a minute, see what happens. Oh, yeah. Did I get him? Ah, oh, I missed him. He showed back up and I missed him. I got overconfident. Dog, go. I just knew I had two in the pot. He's right here, right here. I think I... I was aiming at the bow fin and hit a bluegill under him. What are the chances of that? Not what I was aiming for. Well, it's been about 15 minutes. And he's only come up one other time and it was just bloop, just to let me know he was still there. I have unfinished business with this fish. I have missed him not once, but four separate times. And I can't even tell you the last time I missed with this rig. That only means there's one logical explanation for this. He's got a force field. It has to be force field around him. 100%. I mean, you know it's not my aim, right? Anyways, we're losing sunlight. I don't have any dry spots on my shirt to clean my glasses, so it's getting hard to see into the water. I think, even though I don't want to, we're gonna have to give up on him today. But that's all right, because we got one on a stringer down here, and the goal was just to eat this fish for the first time. So we're gonna go back to the house, break out the play knife, play the fish that we did shoot, get that sucker rolled in cornmeal, dropped in some grease, and fry it up. I'm really just stalling here hoping that it comes back up. It doesn't look like it's going to. I'm gonna go ahead and unload my bow, but as soon as, I should walk away from the water before I unload it. As soon as I do, he'll come back up, say hi. All right, it's official. We're gonna take the fish that we do have keep looking back and we're gonna head to the house and get it flayed and see what they taste like I've never cleaned one of these fish before so I don't know what to expect I don't know if they're gonna have pin bones all through the flays we're just gonna jump into it and see what happens we got the lithium-ion old-timer cordless I haven't charged it I probably should have charged it nope we're good meat's kind of yellow there's no pin bones in it though, none that I feel yet. We'll take that inside and trim them ribs out. All right, we're just gonna do the other side the same way. I didn't feel no pin bones in there. Then we're gonna get that sucker in there and fry it. I gotta take a shower first though. My wife ain't gonna have me sitting in the living room this sweaty. Here we go, here we go. I decided not to do a taste test while I was hungry. So I went ahead and ate dinner after I took a shower. I got the flays here. My wife made a mean sour cream chicken, paired it up with something she was calling butter swim biscuits. It was delicious. I'm just gonna cut this up. This is a real soft meat, no pin bones. It feels 
almost like a gar flay is what it feels like and then i got some cornmeal here that's just seasoned with slap your mama good healthy amount i am just going to cut these flays up into pieces about that size Yep, and we're just going to roll it and... Ah! Look at the mess I made. <laughs> it's not going like I want it to. Anyways, we're just going to coat it with flour real good, and then we're going to drop it in that deep fryer and let it fry up real good and crisp. Like you would a catfish. Just fry it up. I'm just frying it up like I do catfish. What's catfish? You know what a catfish is. Is a catfish little or big? Well, the ones I catch are little most of the time. Do you need those? No. Nope. Why? That's where I shot it. All right, we're gonna let that fry up crisp and then we'll let it cool off and taste it. Here's what yeah. we got. Don't we fried it up and we let it cool off. You want this piece? It's thinner, it won't be as hot. Well, he just dug right into it. <laughs> How'd it taste? Does it taste good? good? Let's see what it looks like real quick. Let's get a thicker piece. It's still a little bit dark. Well, I don't know what to say that tastes like. Yep. It doesn't taste like catfish or crappie, but it doesn't taste bad. It's not something you would want to, it's not something you'd want to invite people over for a fish fry with probably. Hmm. Try this, man. Try it. Tell me what you think. What does that taste like? Good, but different. It's different, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I gotta go pee pee. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna have to end this video. We're gonna finish this fish off. And let me tell you, we can't wait. When he says he's gotta go, he's gotta go. So we'll catch you next time. You got him, you got him. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's a good one. I got him. Got him. Smoke. Smoke. Really moan in. He is not happy about it. I'm not gonna lie, I might have sit there and pouted for a little bit over missing one like this, but redemption is nice. What is going on, everybody? We are back at it. William Tail has another new fishing bolt for these 80 pound crossbows. It's a smooth back one. I don't know if they got it up on their website yet, but if they don't, they will soon. I want to introduce y'all to Casey, a buddy hey, of mine. How's it going, guys? I called him up and I was like, hey, man, I need to kill. A hog with an adder but i can't find him and he's like i got some hogs i got some corn souring so before it's all said and done we're gonna try to get him on a hog but he asked me what i'd been doing i ain't talked to him in a while and i said we've been bow fishing he's like i want some of that so here we are we're gonna see if we can't how long has it been since you shot a fish uh you know closer to a decade now. <laughs> it's been a while you ever shot him in the day no never been never shot him in the day we're gonna get him we're gonna get him on a fish we're gonna try to we're down here at the river the water's a little murky it, it don't matter. I know y'all just want to see us shoot a whole bunch of fish. So we're going to quit talking and see if we can find one. I am under him. Like all the way under his body? All the way under him. We found one right there. You ready? Yeah, whenever you are. Did not get it. I forgot to push the button on the reel. And we shot our arrow out through there. My bad, brother. <laughs> I just want to <laughs> Yeah, my bad. <sighs> you got to push the button on the reel. Ah. All right, we got us another air tight on there. We pushed the stinking button so that we won't shoot no more arrows off into oblivion. We just lucky he didn't get hurt and the line broke. That would have been a bad day. Let's go find another fish. We found another one right here. I don't know if y'all could see it, but as soon as Casey gets over here, we gonna blast it. You're gonna have to aim under him pretty good because he's deep. You got him, you got him. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's a good one. <laughs> Just set the bow down and we'll hand line him in. Dang, that's a nice one. What do you think about that bow? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Yes, sir. Look at that fish. Boom. He got it on the first shot that I didn't mess up and not push the reel. 
Look at that. That old metal bolt stuck in. We're gonna quit talking, get loaded back up and see if we could shoot a bucket full of them. All right, we got that fish off, got her loaded back up and there's already another one here. So I'm gonna pass the camera to Casey here and I'm gonna try to take me a shot. Make sure I push the stinking button. Where'd he go? There right he there. is. I got him. You got him. Smoke. Smoke. Really moan in. He is not happy about it. Yeah, I'm all in. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. there's two. Those old metal fishing arrows, boy, they are on point. You had to get me a little set up like this. We are. I'm going to get this one off and we're going to do it again. All right. Two fish, three shots, and it probably would have been three fish in three shots had I remembered to push the button on the reel. There's one over there, but pretty far. Hey, oh, there's another one just surfaced. Anyways, what is your first impression of this bow, honestly? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. One for two ain't bad. <laughs> I'm saying two for three. Yeah, two for three ain't yeah. bad. One for two for me ain't bad. Well, I messed that shot up. Anyways. There's fish out here everywhere. The water clarity is not quite what we want, but uh, we're still able to see them. I hope we shoot a dozen of them before we leave. All right, I'm gonna run across the rocks. There's one on the current, but we're gonna have to tiptoe it. Where'd he go? He left you. All right, I'm gonna trade the bow for the camera. Y'all look at this last, that last mist I had. I shot that arrow straight into a rock. Mm, she's a goner. I might be able to straighten it out when I get home. I only brought three arrows. I forgot to push the button on the first one. We broke the line. I shot the second one into a rock. So now we gotta let Casey do the rest of the shooting. We brought him out here to bow fish. <laughs> Ain't that right? right <laughs> it's a huge spot of gore out there you yeah. see it mm -hmm. here come over here that's a big one are you shooting the back shoot him he's gonna swim off Did you hit him no there he goes all right dog gone that was a big fish that's part of bow fishing you miss a lot y'all watch me do it all right whenever you're ready I think you ten ringed him. You did! <laughs> you got that big sucker. Nice, huh? <laughs> what you gonna do with him now? You missed him on the first shot, you didn't miss him the second shot. You think that's the same one? I don't know. That's a pretty good one. Look at this gar. Woo! Yeah, redemption. <laughs> redemption. <laughs> the light's fading on us. We about to have to try to go find some sunlight. We're having a hard time seeing the fish. But we're, uh, we got three fish in now. I'm not going to tell you how many times we missed. <laughs> Guys, I'm not going to lie. I might have sit there and pouted for a little bit over missing one like this, but redemption is nice. <laughs> All right, we're going to go find some sun so we can see the fish. Well, I think we're fixing to wrap it up. We've moved back over into the sun. And that comes at a price. It is hot. But I don't know. We come out here. I had a good time. You have a good time? Oh, yeah. It's real fun. You burn it up? Yeah, it's hot. It's ridiculous. We yeah. shot a few fish. He shot a nice gar, buffalo. I shot a buffalo. Missed a few times. I don't know. We're going we're gonna to get out of here. Y'all check out those arrows on William Tell Archery. And we'll catch you next time. I was walking out and I seen a spot where there was some gar and I just had to stop and shoot at one. I thought if I hit it, I'll just put it on the beginning of the video. There he is. Oh, look at that. It shot all the way through him. What is going on, everybody? I'm in a hurry. Just got off work trying to get down to the creek before it gets dark. 
I'm excited to tell y'all about this because if y'all follow the channel any at all, y'all know my favorite arrow to bow fish with is those little metal slingshot fishing arrows. I mean, you've seen me shoot it out of just about everything. We shot it out of the adder for buffalo, and gar, even paddle fish. And I shoot it out of that little 80 pound pistol crossbow. I've shot just about every fish that swims, I bet, with that little 80 pound pistol crossbow. But you've never seen me shoot it out of one of the compound bows because it just didn't work until now. William Tell Archery has found a little metal fishing arrow that fits their striker bows. And I'd like to tell you I was taking it down here to see if it works, but I know it works because I shot it at the house sighting it in. So it's just a matter of getting down here and finding a fish. I am super excited about this. I love these little metal arrows. They shoot great out of these pistol crossbows. Had to cut that short. Had to get down to the creek. I don't got much time. But there's two ways. Oh man, I wish I had this rigged up. There's a buffalo right there. There's two ways this uh, arrow can be attached. You can just tie some braided line straight through that hole. Or if you want to tie a leader on there, you just put a swivel on the little metal piece. Let me quit talking, get this rigged up, and then I'll explain it as I'm shooting fish. I just, I just tied the braided line straight to the arrow. And there's a buffalo sitting there I'm trying to get him. Look, it goes right up against the string. All right, let me see if I can get this buffalo. I got him. I got him. Oh, oh I knew the metal fishing areas would work. Oh, it's a nice fish. Look at that. I get down here and get that arrow tied on there. First shot, stick a buffalo. And these arrows are gonna, these arrows are gonna be on point. I got the first one out of the way. So I just had the line tied straight to the arrow. Let me show you what I'm talking about with the leader real quick. Man, there's fish everywhere. I just wanna shoot fish and not talk. Anyways, you just take a swivel, slide it over the top of the arrow. And it fits in the bow the same way you would just tie to the end of your uh, leader or if you wanted to use a heavier line that would work there is another big buffalo over there there's a little gar right here let me go see if i can shoot another fish for you there's another buffalo right over there it's way out there i could barely see it i thought i was going to ease around this creek but i think i'm just going to stay right here Oh, I got it. That was a long shot. Good grief. Man, I'm just going to have to hand line it. That's another nice fish. Oh man, look at the size of that one. It's about the same as the size of the first one I shot. That was a long shot though. I'm definitely just gonna stand right here for a minute. See what swims up. That's two. Well, that was my wife. She just texted and said dinner was ready. And since it's about 3,000% humidity out here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I wouldn't want to shoot any, every fish in the river anyways. I just want to show y'all this, this uh, metal fishing arrow from William Tell. It's pretty cool. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. We're gonna get the mini striker reverse out and try that out next. These, these fit in both the forward and reverse limb bows. So 
as always, I appreciate y'all watching. I'm going to collect my fish up and head to the house. So we'll catch you next time.